Hello, my name is Denise Yesbeck Moore. Today we are freestyling it. I know I'm going to create a bracelet, but I have no idea what beads I'm going to use. I gathered a bunch of beads from my stash. I do not have a source for these beads. So this is kind of a tutorial on how to teach what you can use on hand. For inspiration, I picked up this little pendant. I created this pendant many, many years ago. This is a clay poker chip, and I printed out this little flower, decoupaged it onto the chip, and drilled a hole in it. So my inspiration is the colors in this little flower. Now, I didn't have any periwinkle. I looked everywhere. So we're going to go off of the burgundies. Today I will be using seven ply wax linen cording. I had somebody ask me how I choose um, the ply of my cording. I try to use the biggest ply possible. So hopefully all these beads will fit through this ply. A lot of times when I do bracelets with three and four ply, I use three strands and kind of place the middle strand through the bead and wrap the other one around the side to give the bracelet more strength. I just cut a 30 inch length of seven ply wax linen cording and I'm gonna start off by grabbing one of my dangles and I'm gonna string it down probably about four inches and I am going to form an overhand knot. And I'm just going to move that knot down. I'm gonna separate those strands and pull it tight. Now I'm grabbing my wire cutters, the brand I use is Lindstrom, and I'm gonna trim off that little end. Using round nose pliers, I am going to separate these little strands. To give it a finished look. Using a lobster clasp, I'm going to string that down. Two right about there and I'm going to form an overhand knot. I'm going to pull that nice and tight and then I'm going to come over and I'm just going to form a simple knot to make sure that's nice and secure. This is the beginning of our bracelet. This is a dyed dolomite bead. I'm just going to string that down to the end and form my overhand knot. I'm holding that bead nice and tight and I'm moving my knot down. I'm pushing it down with my fingernail. Next, I'm grabbing the sun charm and I'm gonna string that. Grab two more of those burgundy dolomite beads. Bring it through. Let's see if this fits. Ooh, they fit. I'm going to string that down. Now, let's form another overhand knot. It's going to get caught in there, so I have to move it a little bit.
I decided that this knot wasn't big enough, so I just came back in and formed another knot right over the previous knot. You can see how big it is now. Adding another dolomite bead. I wanna really squish that down. Holding it. Moving that knot down and pushing it. You can see that our bracelet is starting to form. Next, I'm going to add this flat stone. Stringing it through. And we are going to form our overhand knot. I move that down and I am pulling it tight. I wanted to string this little um, check glass lentil. It doesn't fit, so I think we'll use that as a dangle. So now we're going to move over to these strawberry quartz and they are going to fit. I'm just going to bring this down. Put it up against. Holding all of the other beads. And I'm moving my knot down and pushing it with my fingernail. Let's do another one. I have to find the right side of the hole. There we go. We're going to bring our strawberry quartz down. Holding it. Moving the knot down and pushing it down. I think I'm going to pause the video and add a couple more of these strawberry quartz to save time. I just added two more of the strawberry quartz nuggets. I like to put it on my wrist and measure to see how many more beads I need to go. So now I'm going to switch to these purple, I believe these are dolomite also. So the dolomite, I'm going to string that through, bring it down, overhand knot, holding it nice and tight. Move that knot down squish it down and we're going to do one more before I measure my wrist again. My wrist is about a six and a half inch wrist. Holding it Moving that knot down, squishing it down. All right, so let's check it. Okay, I think we are good on the length of the bracelet. I just grabbed, these are about six millimeter jump rings. This is how you open and close a jump ring and I just, added those jump rings together. Do you see how it's a little off? If you come over and just kind of squish it down, you can get the shape back in your jump ring. Do you see how I did that? 
So string our jump rings and we brought them down. Form an overhand knot. I want to move those jump rings out of the way. Pull it nice and tight. And I'm going to do one more to make sure that those jump rings are nice and secure. I just grabbed another one of my dangles. I'm going to string that down. I need to check the length on this side. So it's right about there. Forming. My overhand knot and I'm pulling it tight. And I think I want to do that one more time to make sure it's nice and secure. Grab our wire cutters. Trim off our excess end. Separate the strands and our bracelet looks pretty good. Let's add some little dangles. Since I couldn't use my check glass bead on the bracelet, I am going to create a little dangle with it to give a little bit of color pop down below. So I am forming a wrap loop, bending the wire back, moving the pliers up, bending the wire towards me, moving the pliers to the side, bending that wire back. I'm gonna switch hands. And with our chain nose pliers, we are gonna wrap one, two, Three. I'm just going to bend that back down. Trim off that little end. We're going to flatten out our loop. Tap this wire down so there are no sharp edges. Now I'm opening that jump ring, attaching and closing the jump ring. Since our sun charm is so big, I'm not gonna add this charm. I'm just gonna add a tiny little charm right there, little gold charm to give it a little pop of gold. This is how the bracelet looks on my wrist. Fits perfectly. Those are the dangles. And there you have it, how to create my September freestyle bracelet. I'm actually really loving the way this bracelet turned out. I like the colors inspired by this little poker pendant. If you are watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Be sure to check out my other videos. Follow me on Instagram for daily beading inspiration at Denisha's Back More. I love to correspond with beaders worldwide. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave a comment and I always answer everybody back. I hope you enjoyed this little freestyle design video and I will see you next time.